Saturday, March 28th at 10.24 p.m. Yeah! Steph, crack open that brisk. Here's to 10,000 and 90,000 more to go. Ugh. You know what the best thing about 10,000 subscribers is? It's over 9,000! And it's time! Final Flash! Gallant! <laughs> yes, it's time to do the Q&A! That one says, that's the most beautiful GIF I've ever seen in my life. Can I download that? I'm gonna take this one, Kevin Tendo. <laughs> yes, you can download that GIF on tiny.cc slash kevgif. And more GIFs will be on their way as Kevin makes new videos. Lovely Yuki says, if you were a main character in a movie, what would you do? I don't know. I want to star in a movie someday. I even Not even if I was the main character, if I was just a regular character in the movie. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you look through my old videos, I used to have long hair. And I used to say, the only way I would cut my hair is if I got accepted into a role in a movie. Nowadays, people ask me, will you ever grow it back out? And that's my same answer. If, if I'm in a role and they're like, Kevin, you would be perfect. Perfect, but we need you to grow your hair out. I would definitely do that in a heartbeat. There's this awesome account called Welfare on YouTube who started making Super Smash Bros animations and uh, he actually invited me to be a voice actor for characters in the future. Yeah, go subscribe to that channel. I'm gonna be featured on there and see if you can identify which voices are mine in the future. All right, K10 that guy. What is your favorite video game ever and what's your favorite song in Steven Universe, the series, musical, or future? Great question, that guy. That guy is actually one of my very first subscribers ever. Honestly, my favorite video game ever, I would say Mario 64, but I have to also throw in Miss Pac-Man. Love it. And finally, on the Nintendo Switch, my favorite is actually Binding of Isaac. I love the uh, the references to Christianity and things like that because you guys know I'm a youth minister. Uh, maybe you didn't know that. I'm a youth minister. Uh, other friends. What was your motivation for making videos in the first place? By the way, congrats on 10K. Thank you so much, Swift. So my very first motivation for making videos was actually, it's kind of embarrassing, but I wanted to become famous like Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber just uploaded his songs to YouTube and he took off, right? And for a lot of my YouTube career, I've had that in the back of my mind. Like, I just need this one video to take off and I'm gonna make it big. And you know, it just doesn't work that way. You know, I started Kevin Tendo when the Nintendo Switch was released. I had this video out. Basically, I was so excited for it that I was like just telling the camera, guys, it's it's happening, guys. And uh, because of that, guys became my intro. Guys! 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 <laughs> All right, my dude Venge. Venge says, congrats, my dude. Do you still care for commentating for Smash Tourneys? Great question, Venge. Yeah, I kind of had a falling out with the San Antonio Smash community. Basically, there were a lot of people who loved me, and there was a vocal minority who hated me. They were like, this guy doesn't know anything about Smash Bros. He's 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 such a noob, and uh, he's too loud and too crazy. And it's like, how do you get better at something unless you practice? And I was doing a lot for them. And they were willing to throw all that out because a few people were really, really opposed to me. Speaking of Discord, that's enough of the YouTube comments. Let's Let's hop into some Discord questions. All right, a couple questions here, but I'm gonna answer this one from Blazing Lion Roy. What is the best part about having a YouTube career? Is being able to be there for people. Really, really it is, because on our Discord, we have a serious chat, and you know, every now and then I like to go in there and see if someone needs help with a parental struggle or relationship advice, things like that. I like to be there for y'all, because I know y'all are always there for me too. 94 Central asks, what do you think made people click with you as a content creator? Some people might think like, oh wow, uh, he's just putting on an act. I'm definitely not. I'm just letting my best personality shine. Fifi asks, who's your favorite Pokemon? What's your favorite gem in Steven Universe? 
Uh, great question, Fifi. Uh, my favorite Pokemon, I'm gonna go basic, is Charizard. Especially Mega Charizard X from Pokemon X and Y. The black Charizard with the blue flames looks so awesome. My favorite gem in Steven Universe, Spinel. <laughs> Easy Lambry says, If you were able to go back in time and tell yourself something when you started your channel, what would you tell him? You know what, Easy Lambry? I would just tell myself not to get frustrated when videos didn't do well, like the Yoshi video. I, I referenced that a lot because I spent so much time on it and um, it just totally flopped. Uh, but every step of the way has been such an emotional journey, right? And the thing that I finally learned very recently is that if a video just doesn't do good, move on. Just don't repeat that same mistake or that same uh, path. Try something new. Kyle Barber asks, what are your favorite videos you've made for the channel? Great question, Kyle. I actually have a whole playlist of them on my YouTube homepage called The Very Best of Kevin Tendo, and I think those are some of the best videos that I made. I was like, I, I have this habit of starting series and then never continuing the series because they didn't do too well. But one series I really wanted to get into was called Settle, Settle It, it in, in Smash. Smash. But maybe I'll bring it back someday. I don't know. Andy asks, first game ever played? Great question, Andy. And uh, my first game ever played was Super Mario 64. It actually might be why it's my favorite to this day. Um, but quick story, my dad actually... Uh, he fell off the ladder doing Christmas lights one year. I think I was like three or four years old and he had nothing to do because he broke his arm and his leg. So he just like played Mario 64 like the whole time he was in bed rest. And um, I was a little toddler so I was sitting right there playing with him. And uh, he probably mostly played the game, but I thought I was playing. You know how parents do that or siblings where they just hand you a controller. <laughs> uh, but it just, it made a huge impact on me and I love Mario 64 and I love Mario because of it. Gaming Fanatic says, if you could pick any game show to be on, what would you go on and why? It's a great question and I, I have no idea. Uh, recently I've gotten into watching The Circle, but I don't think I could ever do that because you have to lie a lot. <laughs> you don't have to but it really helps if you lie. I'm just a terrible liar. I don't, honestly, I don't think I would be good at any game show except ones where there's like no strategy. It's all based on luck. I don't know. <laughs> Grace says, what didn't you expect when you started streaming and making videos that surprised you the most? Also, what's the most important thing you've taken away from the experience? Grace, that's a great question. And I'm so glad you're still a part of our community after all of these years. Probably the big surprise is that um, YouTube gaming was a super good platform and it just kind of went away, right? They were promoting streamers like crazy when I first started streaming on YouTube, though. Um, I guess that surprised me that they, that, cause I thought like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm gonna be a YouTube streamer forever. And uh, you know, everything, all good things must come to an end eventually. So just like, my nacho, no! I actually cry sometimes when I think about nacho as like a really old cat. He's gonna be with us forever, right guys? Nacho man, nacho man, nacho man. Troy says, congrats on 10,000 subs. What is your favorite Pokemon game? Great question, Yordi. Simple answer, Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Yellow, it was my first Pokemon game. Still have so much love for it. Wild Cereal Cat asks, what would you do if you got a dog? Well, you guys know I'm a kitty cat lover. I have Nacho, I also have another orange cat, Mac, and we got a new cat, Poutine. Uh, after our honeymoon because we went to Canada and we really loved the dish poutine <laughs> um, But yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a dog anytime soon Maybe when I have children someday and if they really want a dog But other than that Stephanie and I are really happy with cats. Um, I have had dogs You guys might not know this but one of my early videos I introduced ginger um, my parents animal more like my sister's dog and I don't see her hardly that much anymore unless I go over to my parents house because they, she lives at my parents' house, so. Orion asks, what's your favorite color? P.S. I'm from Russia. Welcome, Orion. Thank you for uh, being here, and my favorite color is red. Jay-Z the kid, we're gonna wrap it up with you. And he asks, what's next? That's a great question, Jay-Z. 
And I don't know truly what's next. I do know what's immediately next is my parody song that I'm coming out with. Guys, it's gonna be so good. Please be on the lookout for it. I'm so excited for it. And please, when it comes out, share it, share it, share it, like it, like it, watch it, watch it. It's, it's, oh my gosh. It's gonna be awesome and good, but I'm gonna need your help, guys. I'm really gonna need your help for it to do well. I'm gonna be doing parody songs. I'm gonna be reacting to more uh, series uh, since Steven Universe is over. For now, I don't think it's fully over, but for now, it's over and um, yeah we'll have to see guys I really don't know exactly what the future is going to hold but I do know that I'm gonna keep on making content right here if you haven't follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash Kevin Tendo and guys follow my music channel too um, it's called Kevin Fry so uh, yeah guys I mean it's it's a crazy journey that uh, I've gone on and I'm so thankful that each and every one of y'all have gotten to be a part of it I really couldn't be here without you guys. Literally, literally could not be here without you guys. Um, so I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart for all the love, all the support you guys have given to me um, throughout these years. We hit 10,000. I'm excited for the next 10,000. Super big shout out to all of my channel members, Twitch subscribers, and Patreon patrons. If you guys want to support me in an awesome way, the links to those are below in the description. But thank you so very much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Life's a switch, so let's play.